Just a few hours ago guys, this photo was uploaded to the Shippel forum and it shows the first ever image of what is said to be Nvidia's upcoming GeForce RTX 3080 and this is supposed to be the so-called reference version. In other words, this will be the card that Nvidia sells from their own website. Now when I saw this, I was literally jumping up and down of excitement. You see, once pictures like these start popping up, kind of means we aren't you know, too far off from a final product. Now, in case you aren't fully up to date on MD Ampere, I actually have a video linked up down below that answers all you guys' questions. In this video, we're gonna talk about this image. So with that said, yeah, let's talk about the cooler. Now, some people have already called this fake, mostly due to this weird looking cooler. And I do think that is a valid point. And I totally understand why you would call this fake. I mean, just take a look at it, right? Uh, me, myself, I have never seen anything like this before. But you know what? Let's take a step back and think about this for a moment. Why would anyone try to fake something as unusual? you show as this. I really don't see that. What makes this leak seem legit to me at least is exactly for the reason because of the unusual cooler. And if you ask me, I don't think this is fake guys. I don't think this is fake at all. Now, that being said, Nvidia hasn't always used this type of cooling solution. The reference card from the green team have for many years actually been equipped with a so-called blower type cooling solution. And this type of design relies on a single radial fan blowing and pushing air through heat sinks to then dump the hot air outside of the chassis. That however changed when Nvidia launched the GeForce RTX 2000 series aka the Touring lineup, where Touring marked the end of the blower style cooler where the company decided to scrap the blower style in favor for the so-called dual actual fan open design instead. I have been following Ampere for a while now guys and according to leaks Nvidia is supposed to keep this design on upcoming Ampere and from what I can tell from this photo well that seems to be what we are ultimately witnessing here as well and before you say it I know what you're thinking I only see one single fan well the answer is because the other fan is hidden behind the heatsink. See, this is the back of the card and this is the front. Basically, one fan is recessed into heatsinks and blows down on the PCB, basically. And here's a better image made up in 3D from another angle. And it turns out this particular card, said to be the RTX 3080, appears to be fairly short. And as a result, Nvidia has been able to make a cooler that definitely differ greatly from the company's previous reference models. And that all said, it isn't clear whether, you know, all touring based cards are gonna be this short, but all it seems like this engineering sample is. I should be said guys, this is very likely to be an early development copy and may not be the final design by any means, but it should give us a pretty solid idea what the upcoming reference cards or reference designs could look like. Let me know what you think about the design in the comments below. And another interesting detail being revealed from this image is that we're looking at a reference card that will take up up a total of two expansion slots. As for the aesthetic, uh, as I've said many times before, yes we are looking at a very unusual design that seems to end in a sort of V shape where the empty area is filled up by heat sinks and another fan. Now whatever this backplate here is part of the finished product remains to be seen. Now it is also worth mentioning that the 8 pin power connector or connectors are nowhere to be seen. These are usually placed along the long side and in direct contact with the PCB, which is not the case on this card, but it could just be that these have been placed on the other, you know, the short end, so to speak. And we know that Nvidia used this kind of approach. Uh for the GeForce RTX 2060 Super for example. As for colors, it seems like Nvidia is reusing the black and silver colored scheme metal and the blue details you see here guys are simply protective plastic to the metal that runs in a sort of hourglass shape around the card. And on the side of the metal we can read GeForce RTX with the same font that we're used to. We also obviously see RTX 3080 printed on the backplate here. The future will definitely 
hard not to tell whether this design is final or not but you know what i want to know what you think let me know in the comments below i think it looks kind of nice now one question i have is i wonder if this is an efficient cooling solution anyway i cannot wait for more leaks like this one and in case you haven't been following ampere i highly recommend having a look at my comprehensive nvidia ampere video where i basically cover everything you guys need to know how you find that video linked up down below and down there you also find the latest leaks and news around big navi as well in terms of release date we expect to see geforce rtx 3000 in September and release date is expected to take place around the same time frame possibly in October but definitely way before December. That said guys watch either of these two videos and I will see you guys in the next video.